Hello everybody, this is going to be a review of the DIY Type Q, or the JSK clone. A little bit about the puzzle before we get into the speed solving ability. You get it in pieces, meaning you have to assemble it yourself, and these are the stickers that it comes with. The stickers are decent quality, they're really nothing to write home about, and it's just your average everyday color scheme. The opposite colors aren't too similar, so there's no way to get confused. However, one thing that I would like to point out is that yellow and orange can get very confusing when speed solving, just considering they're so close in color. And the edges and corners are pretty much the exact same as the Rubik's 3x3. If I had to compare this cube to something, I would say that it's basically just a Rubik's store-bought with screws and springs on it. Now to get into the actual turning, we look at the lockups. The lockups are this puzzle's main flaw. Setting it at the best tensions that I can come up with, the puzzle still locks up quite a bit. As for corner cutting, it's pretty decent for a normal DIY. It can cut about three quarters of a piece, and it can't reverse corner cut at all. One of the best things about this puzzle is how smooth it turns. You feel almost no bumps when turning the puzzle which is common for 3x3s, but this puzzle seems exceptionally smooth. If you were to buy this cube, I would recommend setting the tensions quite tight. Not super tight, but just tight enough so that the puzzle doesn't pop. Because if you loosen it to reduce the amount of lockups, then the puzzle pops like crazy. Lubing it with silicone spray seems to do the trick, just like most other puzzles as well. As for my thoughts on the puzzle, it definitely could be your main speed cube. However, I would still recommend the F2 or the high-end memory over this puzzle. So with those other 3x3s on the market as it is, I would recommend not getting this one with hopes of it being your main speed cube. However, you might like it. If you turn extremely accurately and you can reduce the amount of lockups that you get, then you will probably like this puzzle. I got this puzzle from Speed Cube Shop, run by CamCuber. Link to the shop is in the description below. And as with the other reviews I've done, let's leave you with an average of 5.